Combination means several ways of choosing an item or element in a large set of element. In permutation, the order of the members is taken as consideration. R value is always less than or equal to the n value. So 210 means I can write it is 7 into 30. 7 into 30 means 210. Hello everyone, welcome back to my new session. I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty. So in my previous session, I have discussed about permutations and problems. So today I am explaining the new concept called combinations. So what is this combinations and permutations? So permutations already have discussed, right? So permutation in the sense, the different ways of arranging a set of objects into a sequential order are termed as permutation, right? Arranging an element in a sequential order are termed as permutation. So what is combination? Combination means several ways of choosing an item or element in a large set of element. So but without considering any order. So without considering any order, we can select an item in a large set of objects, right? That is called as combinations. So combinations, the different groups or selections or collections that be formed out of given certain things by taking some or all of them at a time without considering the order of the arrangements are called as combinations. In permutation, the order of the members is taken as consideration, but in combination, the order is not a matter. That is the difference between combination and permutation. In permutation, we have used NPR formula. NPR is equal to N factorial by N minus R factorial. That is the formula for permutation. And so what is the formula for combination? So it can be represented by N, C, R. C means it's a combination. P means it's a permutation. So, N, P, R is a permutation formula. N, C, R is a combination formula. N, C, R is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R factorial into R factorial. So, one extra term you have to add in a denominator. So in NCR, we added one extra R factorial. So N factorial divided by N minus R factorial into R factorial. So this is a formula for combinations, right? In combinations, we have NCR. Keep in mind, R value is always less than or equal to N value. Clear? So R value should be less than or equal to the N value. Clear? So NCR is equal to N factorial by N minus R factorial into R factorial. This is called as combinations. Combination means without considering any order are termed as combinations. Clear? And in combinations, we have some properties, very important properties. For solving problem, we are using this property. Remember this formulas NCR is equal to, we can write this NPR divided by R factorial. We don't have any theorem proof for this. You just remember this formulas NCR is equal to NPR divided by R factorial and NC0. NC0 means R value is 0. If R value is 0, NC0 is equal to NCN. Keep in mind, n c n value is always equal to 1. And n c 0 is equal to n c n. And n c n minus r. If your r value is n minus r, then is equal to n c r. And if n c r is equal to n c k, very important formula, n c r is equal to n c k, then Either R equals to K or R plus K equals N. Clear? This formula we are using in a problem. Please remember this. NCN is equal to 1. NC0 is equal to NCN. And NCR is equal to NCK. Either R equals to K or R plus K is equal to N. So, these properties we are using in problems. So now let's understand with an example problem. So 8C3. You just observe this. R value is always 
less than or equal to the n value. It should be less than or equal to n value. So nc3, this is in a form of ncr, right? So you have to use n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial. So here n value is 8 factorial. 8 factorial means 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 divided by n minus r. 8 minus 3 is 5 factorial. 5 factorial means 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 into r factorial. r factorial means it is 3 factorial. 3 into 2 into 1. Please do it carefully. 3 to 1, 3 to 1 get cancelled and 5, 4, 5, 4 get cancelled. And 3 1s are 3 2s are 6, 2 1s are 2 4s are 8. So 4 2s are 8, 8 7s are 56. Clear? So 56 is the right answer. And the next problem, in second problem you have two terms 6C2 into 4C2. So first you have to find the value of 6C2 and 4C2, then you can multiply, you will get the answer. So first I will find out for 6C2, 6 factorial by 6 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 divided by 6 minus 2 is 4 factorial, 4, 3, 2, 1 into 2 factorial means 2 into 1. So you can cancel this and also you can cancel 4 into 3, 2 ones are 2 3s are this 15. So 15 ways. And for 4C2, next I will find out for 4C2, 4 factorial by 4 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial. So 4 factorial is 3, 4, 3, 2, 1 divided by 4 minus 2 is 2 factorial that is 2 into 1 into 2 factorial means 2 into 1. 2 into 1, 2 into 1 get cancelled. 2 ones are, 2 twos are, 2 threes are, 6. So, the value of 4C2 is 6 and the value of 6C2 is 15. So, the final answer is 90. So, 90 ways. So, 90 ways we can arrange this elements. So, this is a basic formula. This type of question you can expect for 2 marks. And the next problem, nc4, if nc4 is equal to nc5, find the value of n. So, nc4 is equal to nc5. Here, you have to find the value of n. They didn't give the value of n. They have given the value of r. r is equal to 4 and r is equal to 5. So, we have to find the value of n. So, what is the first step? So first you have to apply the formula for NCR. So this is in a form of NCR, right? So N factorial by N minus 4 factorial into 4 factorial is equal to N factorial by N minus 5 factorial into 5 factorial. Compare, next step, compare NC4 is equal to NC5. So compare this NC4 is equal to NC5 with already I have told you one property right NCR is equal to NCK. I will show you again NCR is equal to NCK. So this formula you can apply NCR is equal to NCK then either R is equal to K or R plus K is equal to N. So NC4 is equal to NC5. Compare this NC4 is equal to NC5 with NCR is equal to NCK. Clear? So now what is the value of R? R is equal to 4 and K is equal to 5. If it is equal, easily you can apply this. So R is equal to K. But R value is not equal to K value, right? So, R is not equal to K. If it is not equal, then you can use 
R plus K equals N. If N C R is equal to N C K, then R is equal to K, either R plus K is equal to N. So here, R is not equal to K, then I will apply this R plus K is equal to N. So what is the value of R? R is equal to 4 plus K is equal to 5. So N is equal to 9. Therefore, the value of N is equal to 9. So you can substitute the value of N here. So N C 4. Value of N is 9 C 4 is equal to 9 C 5. You can cross verify this answer. So the final value of N is 9. Clear? And the next problem. N P R is equal to 3024. And N C R is equal to 126. Then find R. Here you have to find the value of R. First write the given statement NPR is equal to 3024 and NCR is equal to 126. So here you have to apply permutation and combination formula. So NPR means what? N factorial by N minus R factorial, right? Is equal to 3024 and NCR. NCR means N factorial by N minus R factorial into R factorial. Here we have NCR and NPR. So we have to apply one property. NCR is equal to NPR by R factorial. We have to apply this property to find the value of R. So now NCR is equal to NPR by R factorial, right? So, in place of NPR, I can write it as 3024, right, divided by R factorial. This is NCR. I'll repeat, here I am applying one property, NCR is equal to NPR by R factorial. So, what is NCR? NCR is equal to NPR by R factorial. In place of NPR, I have written 3024 divided by R factorial, right. So, now what is the value of NCR? NCR is equal to? 126. In place of NCR, I'll write 126 is equal to 3024 divided by R factorial, right? NCR means 126. Now you can cross verify this. We have to find the value of R. So I will cross multiply this R factorial. Then this 126 will come to the denominator. 3024 by 126, you will get 24. You can use calculator, find the value of this 3024 by 126, you will get 24. So now RHS value and LHS value, you just observe this. Here I have R factorial, here I have one number 24, right? So now I have to change this in a factorial form. So 24 means I can write it is 4, 3, 2, 1. Right? So 4 into 3, 12. 12 into 2, 24. So it is 24. In place of 24, I can write 4 into 3, 2 into 1. Right? And 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, I can write it in a factorial form that is 4 factorial. 4 factorial is equal to 4, 3, 2, 1. So we have R factorial in our LHS and in RHS we have 4 factorial. So factorial, factorial get cancelled. So what is the value of R? R is equal to 4. Therefore R is equal to 4. So you can cross verify this and you can substitute the value of R. So find the value of R. So value of R is equal to 4. And the next problem NP3 is equal to 210. If NP3 is equal to 210, find N. NP3 is equal to 210. Here we have to find the value of N. So I will apply the formula for NP3. N factorial by N minus 3 factorial. This is NP3 is equal to 210. Right? So in my previous session I have discussed about permutation, right? In permutation only, I have discussed one note, n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4, etc. So, in place of n factorial, you can write this n into n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, etc. 
So in denominator, I have n minus 3 factorial. So, so in place of n factorial, I can write n into n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 factorial till n minus 3. Because in denominator also I have n minus 3 factorial. So I will end this equation in n minus 3 form. So n minus 3 factorial. So this n minus 3 factorial, n minus 3 factorial get cancelled is equal to RHS is 210. Clear? And now again I will simplify this. n into n minus 1, n minus 2 is there in LHS is equal to 210. So now we don't know the value of n. We know the value of r and is equal to 210. Here we have to find the value of n. By seeing this RHS value, by assumptions you can take the value of n. I will repeat, by seeing this RHS value you can take the assumptions for n. So now I will take the value of n. I have 210 in RHS. So 210 means I can write it is 7 into 30. 7 into 30 means 210. I can write this, right? 7, 3 is a 21, 7, 30 is a 210, right? So now, by assumptions, I will take n is equal to 7. If you are considering this n is equal to 7, you just substitute the value of n here. 7 into 1, 7 into 7 minus 1, 7 into 7 minus 2 is equal to 210. So now you can cross verify this. 7 into 7 minus 1 is 7 into 6, 7 minus 2 is 5. So 7 into 6 into 5 is 210 is equal to RHS also 210. Now the value of n is what? It is 7. So now you can cross verify this. Substitute the value of n. n is equal to 7. 7 p3 you will get 210. You can find by applying the formula of NPR. So I will repeat. Here they have given NP3 is equal to 210. We have to find the value of n. So first substitute the value of NP3 formula. n factorial by n minus 3 factorial is equal to 210. So n factorial means you can write this n into n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4 factorial etc. So in place of n factorial, I will write n into n minus 1, n minus 2, n till n minus 3 factorial. Because in denominator, I have n minus 3 factorial. So easily you can cancel this n minus 3 factorial and n minus 3 factorial, right? So finally you will get n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 is equal to 210. So in RHS we have 210. Now we have to find the value of n. So now I will split this RHS value. So you can take the assumptions for n. 210 means you can take 7 into 30. Right? 7 into 30. You just take the minimum value of n. You can write 30 into 7 also. But take the minimum value of n. So I will take n is equal to 7. Substitute the value of n here. 7 into 7 minus 1 into 7 minus 2. So we will get 7 into 6 into 5. 7 into 6 into 5 is 210. 210 is equal to 210. LHS is equal to RHS. So the value of n is equal to 7. Clear? So this is your final answer. Definitely this type of questions for 4 marks. So find the value of n or find the value of r. Clear? So this is about your combinations basic problems. So in my next session I will discuss some other important problems on combinations. Thank you.